In January 2024, Lockheed Martin completed the production of the 1000th F-35 fighter jet, marking a remarkable achievement. As of January 2024, the F-35 has accumulated over 770,000 flight hours, with 14 training centers worldwide training over 2,280 pilots and more than 15,400 maintenance personnel. The total number of flights has surpassed 469,000. Currently, there are over 32 military bases worldwide and 11 ships capable of carrying F-35 fighter jets. Undoubtedly, the F-35 is poised to surpass the F-22 as the world's most successful fifth-generation fighter jet. The F-35's English name is Joint Strike Fighter, JSF. The key term here is joint because the F-35 is the first fighter jet in U.S. history developed with contributions from all three branches of the military, the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy, and the U.S. Marine Corps, each procuring their own versions at different prices. The cheapest and earliest successful trial model is the F-35A. The first F-35A flew successfully on December 15, 2006. The F-35A, with fewer restrictions on usage areas, is the simplest and most affordable fighter jet in the family. It is mainly used by various air forces around the world, including the U.S. Air Force, the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, and the Royal Air Force, making it the most widely used version globally. Recently, the Czech Republic announced the purchase of 40 F-35 fighter jets, also of the A model. The reason is simple, it's the cheapest model, yet sufficiently capable for the Air Force's needs. We often hear about the F-35's vertical takeoff and landing capability, which applies specifically to the B model. The F-35B utilizes a special lift fan structure for this purpose. When you see the F-35B taking off vertically in videos, you'll notice the hatch behind the cockpit opening. Inside is a lift fan, similar to a helicopter's rotor, generating upward lift when rotating. The lift fan itself has no power, it's driven by a complex drive shaft connected to the main engine's low-pressure turbine. This complexity in the F-35B structure leads to higher costs and maintenance challenges. As a result, the cost of the F-35A model has reached over 80 million U.S. dollars, while the price of the B model remains above 100 million U.S. dollars. The use of a more complex structure also poses a potential issue, limited space in the internal weapons bay. A long-standing criticism of the F-35 is its small internal weapons capacity, with only four hardpoints. The U.S. has addressed this issue by improving the weapons bay for both the A and C models to accommodate six missiles, but the B model's bay remains unchanged due to limited internal space. Despite its complexity and higher cost, the F-35B's unique vertical takeoff and landing capability have made it popular among navies worldwide. For aircraft carriers, expensive catapult systems are no longer necessary. Instead, the fighter jets can take off vertically. For example, the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle, lacking catapult technology, had to purchase it from the U.S. for $120 million 40 years ago. France then sold its old carrier, the Foch, to Brazil for $1.4 billion, essentially trading an old carrier for a U.S. steam catapult. France's next-generation aircraft carrier will use U.S. electromagnetic catapults, costing $1.3 billion. With that amount, you could buy several F-35BS for deployment on aircraft carriers. As a result, we see the UK's Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers equipped with F-35BS, as well as Italy's Cavour aircraft carrier. Japan's Izumo and Kaga helicopter destroyers equipped with US F-35BS. Even some amphibious assault ships can carry F-35BS, becoming light aircraft carriers. For example, the U.S. has nine amphibious assault ships, including the WASP class and the newest America class, all capable of carrying more than 10 F-35B fighter jets. This is why the F-35B is widely popular worldwide. The U.S. Marine Corps also operates the F-35B, replacing the older Harrier jets used for vertical takeoff. The Marine Corps is a unique branch within the U.S. military, emphasizing frontline deployment and rapid support. 
Therefore, they desired a fighter jet capable of vertical takeoff and landing, leading to the customization of the F-35B for the U.S. Marine Corps. Later, other navies found this aircraft to be highly effective and began ordering it as well. Despite being the most complex, the F-35B was the first to enter service. On July 31, 2015, the U.S. Marine Corps' first squadron of 10 aircraft achieved initial operational capability, ready for global deployment. The squadron, Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 121, based in Arizona, became the first unit in history to be equipped with the F-35, attaining initial operational capability on August 2, 2016. The U.S. Air Force's first F-35A squadron, the 34th Fighter Squadron of the 388th Fighter Wing at Hill Air Force Base in Utah, achieved initial operational capability a year later. Throughout the F-35's development, the U.S. Navy was the least satisfied with the project, thus receiving the aircraft last. On February 28, 2019, the first F-35C squadron aboard the USS Carl Vinson aircraft carrier attained operational certification, reaching initial operational capability with 10 F-35CS. Although the F-35's combat readiness dates are later, their delivery to the U.S. military came earlier. For instance, the F-35C intended for naval use arrived for testing at Naval Air Station Patuxent River as early as 2011. The first F-35C was delivered to Strike Fighter Squadron 101 at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida in 2013. In 2014, the F-35C made its first landing on the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier. By 2017, the USS Carl Vinson was operating with F-35CS for maritime missions. However, it wasn't until 2019 that the first F-35C squadron achieved initial operational capability, marking a six-year process from delivery to combat readiness. This delay was due to the U.S. Navy's dissatisfaction with the F-35. Since carrier-based aircraft require a specific set of capabilities, the U.S. Navy had been seeking a twin-engine fighter for added thrust during carrier takeoffs and landings, as well as increased reliability in case of engine failure. Despite the concerns of the U.S. Air Force and Navy during the F-35's development, its advanced stealth capabilities, radar performance, and situational awareness have made it the world's most powerful and popular fighter jet. The F-35 is the most successful fifth-generation fighter jet in the world, evident from the sheer number of orders. The U.S. plans to procure 1,700 F-35s for the Air Force, over 420 F-35BS for the Marine Corps, and more than 270 F-35CS for the Navy, totaling over 2,400 aircraft. Moreover, U.S. allies have also heavily invested in the F-35. Japan has ordered a total of 147, including 105 F-35As and 42 F-35BS. The UK, a staunch US ally, has ordered 138. Canada's Air Force has ordered 88, and Israel's Air Force has ordered 75. Italy has ordered 75, and Australia has ordered 72. Furthermore, European allies of the US have ordered varying numbers of F-35s. Belgium has ordered 34, Denmark has ordered 27, Finland has ordered 64, Germany has ordered 35, the Netherlands has ordered 52, Norway has ordered 52, Poland has ordered 74, South Korea has ordered 62, and Switzerland has ordered 36. Adding up these orders, as of January 2024, there are orders for a total of 3,300 F-35s worldwide. As for production rates, according to this report, General Schmidt stated that they are producing at a rate of 156 aircraft per year, which is the contracted rate. He also mentioned that the goal for the coming years is to maintain a similar annual output. Therefore, in the foreseeable future, F-35 production will remain at around 160 aircraft per year. So, Considering the current order numbers, Lockheed Martin would need to produce at full capacity for 15 years to fulfill existing orders. In terms of quality, the F-35 is the world's most potent fighter jet, and in terms of order quantity, it's the most popular fighter jet in the last 20 years. 
Comparing it to other fourth-generation fighter jets, the Rafale produced less than 300 units, the Eurofighter produced around 600, the Su-27 produced less than 700, the F-15 produced 1,200, and the F-18 produced nearly 1,500. Only the F-16, with 4,600 units, comes close in quantity. However, the current F-35 order numbers already surpass the combined production of the F-15, F-18, and Su-27. And I'm sure the number of F-35 orders will continue to increase in the future.